And we're back again, coming down for a landing on Golden, getting ready to report to Captain Ridger and tell him that we have successfully received his package of spices from the planet of Cernax. So let's go off and tell him the good news. Now you will notice that it's actually gotten dark here. There is a day-night cycle on these planets, and some things do happen differently between day and night. Not a lot, but at least the sun does go down at night. One thing I haven't mentioned before are these things. These are dispensers that you can find in various places around the planet. They're dispensers for medicine, for food, and for ammo. And like I said, the best things to get are food for healing. So you don't have to worry about the um, addiction. Ira's still sitting here. She won't talk to you when you try to talk to her. I think it's a bug her being there. So let's go tell Ridger we've got his package. Ridger, we have your package. Okay, Captain Ridger has asked us now to deliver a water purifier to a nomad village out in the desert. He didn't say if it was Vault 13 or not, but we can make the appropriate assumption. He also gave us this vehicle to travel in. So, let's explore vehicle driving. The vehicle has a gun on it. But you have to be careful, because if you even brush up against someone, they can treat that as an injury or an attack, and they will attack you back. If you stay on the... Oh, something's been killed here. If you stay on the roads, you're not very likely to be attacked by critters, but you will get attacked by bandits, who have set up places all along the roads. In fact, a lot of vehicles on the road are bandits. There's some up on that hilltop there. So I'm going to cut across country. If you want a better view than the little radar at the top right, hitting tab gives you a better map like this. I hear bugs. And that can be helpful in some cases. Usually I'll leave it like this. The enemies do show up on this map just like if they were in stealth mode. If you notice there's a plume of smoke up here to the right, remember the guy who asked us to look for his crashed flyer? Well, we found his crashed flyer. Oh, look at the bandit. Raider. He doesn't like me. I've been perceived as an enemy. Okay. There's more raiders over here. But I have a machine gun. Come on. Okay. Well, that took longer than it should have. Let's go out and talk to these guys. Hard. Search these bodies up some weapons that they've dropped. Oh, look, a grenade. And there's the part that the guy had lost from his shuttle. Remember? The bandit had it. There's the shuttle. Whoops! Hello. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Oh, there's a shouty. Guy shouting at me in Russia. Come on. I don't know how you want these fancy shields like these guys have. He's behind another shield, but the shield's bay. There he goes. Okay. What was that all about? You got that rifle? Okay. Yes, yeah, so the raiders don't like me anymore. So sue me. You got a vehicle over there that I could commandeer, but I'll just stick with mine for now. Get back cross country. Sometimes cross country is better because you don't get. Um, attacked by quite as many raiders. You can play the dune buggy thing. Oops. Monsters, don't want to get attacked by them. Up here we have something kind of odd. You see the Rubik's Cube up here on the top of the hill? This is an art installation. I haven't figured out anything else useful about it right now. But um, these guys are all art admirers. If you talk to them, they'll tell you Ooh, look, isn't this impressive? It looks like a Rubik's Cube. But whatever. 
It's just an example of some of the weird things you can find just hanging out here in the desert. Not a bug. And like I said, I gotta watch out for raiders because they're all over the place out here. Supposedly these pylons you see alongside the road here keep the bugs off the road. I couldn't tell you. Here's the town we're supposed to delivering things to. Gotta go in the main entrance here or else it won't recognize that you've done it. So let's get out. Oops. And go tell the shaman we have his water purifier ship. Hi, you shammy. Okay, the shame has told me that some more bandits are here, just outside of town, and they're having problems with them. And I said, sure, we'll help you with the bandits, because they have the um, power cell for my father's ship, so I need to get that. So let's go take care of some bandits. Who are right over here. That was easy enough. Now, for some reason it said that I failed that task by killing these guys, even though that's apparently what I was supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, I don't get it either. Some stuff over here I can loot, some lockpicks, some spirits, something else you can get addicted to. Something else there, it looks like. Yeah, a hack stick, okay. Oh, more weapon. Gotta pick those up. You notice know, my backpack's full, so I'm going to stash all these in my buggy. Which is here. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've loaded all the weapons that I have just looted into the buggy, so I don't have to carry them. I also gained a level back there, you may have noticed. Um, I took the Nimble perk, which means I take 10% less damage now. And if you're me, Grab my vehicle to take 10% less damage, that hurt. If you're me, that's probably a good idea. So let's get out and tell the shaman that, yay, we killed the bandits. Let's see how that person wants at some point. Hi again. Okay, the shaman has told me after I said that I couldn't talk to the bandits for them because they all died all of a sudden. He's told me that someone here in the camp knows where the bandit's camp is, but that person is injured and can't talk, so he's asking me to go get a Tree of Life plant for them, which is over here somewhere. So I'm going to get the Tree of Life so we can heal this guy and he can tell me where the bandit camp is so I can get the power cell for my ship. Tree of Life's in this oasis over here in front of me. Oh look, there's a bandit here too. And I'm sure that was very insulting that he said to me, whatever it was. This is the bandit near village. Still another gun. And tree of life plant, how about that? Now we have it. Uh oh. That looks big and dangerous. I guess I'll go ahead over here. Just get in my car and leave. Whoops! That's not good. Yeah, that, that could probably could have done better. Okay. Probably do better if I quit hitting signs. Okay, we need to help talk to the guy who knows where the um, bandit camp is. Once we have the Tree of Life plant farm. Ah, oh, there he is. Hi, Akatu. I have some drug. Okay, Katu has told me that the bandit camp is under the big bush. Katu is living on drugs, it looks like. Hmm. He has some jungle cola. I'll take that. I'll take that too. No one seems to care if you steal anything. You can 
walk in anyone's house and take up everything they have, and no one seems to care. So, man, he's really in jungle cola. Mineral water's good, I can heal with that. Okay. So, right now we need to go back to Ridger and say, Hey, Ridger, we know where the bandit's camp is now. And I think it's still stuck on the side. Okay. I have a repair kit. That's that F2. I guess I'll repair the eye buggy. No, that's my... No, that's the trunk. Okay. thought I had a repair kit. I guess not. What am I doing? There we go. Ignore me! Okay. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm down to 30%. Damn. Only 30% remaining on my buggy, which means I'm 70% damaged. Oh, look, more raiders. So I just have to cut across the country here to avoid them. Hopefully. And since I'm sure you don't want to see me drive all the way back to town, I'll see you later. And we're back approaching the town. I actually cheated a bit there um, while your back was turned. I um, remember where we killed the raiders by the crashed flyer. I stopped and hijacked their buggy to replace my badly damaged one. So I'm actually in a different buggy now. That's okay. This one has no fuel, but beyond that we're doing fine. So let's go back into town and go tell Richard the, that we found where the bandits live. Okay, Ridger's happy that we've found the bandits, and he wants us to me to go out and make sure I kill them for good this time. I said I would do that because that's what I am. So, it's time to head out and get the bandits, but I guess first I need to figure out a way to refuel my buggy. And we'll do that next time.